Hello watchers of my channel, my name is Konstantin Werner, I'm the CEO of Career Boost Germany and I'm mainly handling doctors from abroad who are aiming to move to Germany and to attend their specialization in Germany. Um, many times people are asking me about how or if it's possible to do an internship in Germany. The regulations in Germany or in the whole Europe are like this, that you need to have a past studies, you need to have a past internship, practical year, internatur or ordinatur, how it's called in Ukraine or Russia, and a registration from the study country or your home country. Those needs to be shown to gain a work permit. So theoretically it is possible to do an internship in Germany. This is only theoretically. This I also always describe to the requesters, so I would also like to describe it to you, how it theoretically is possible. The point is, your university or and your uh, medical council in your study country need to agree in written form that you are allowed to do your internship abroad. That means that they need to show in a written form Okay, you have a main reason like you got married to a German guy or you got a child in Germany that you need to take care of and you are allowed to move abroad to do your education or to continue your education there. Then of course you need to learn the language. This is to be learned up to C2 level. Usually they call it the C3 level as it is a level called C C3 to study in a university in Germany. After passing this, of course, you need to apply for a placement for the internship in Germany. This takes time. You might not get a placement in the first year. So in total, we are calculating with three, three to four years of time until you pass your internship. This time also, you need to be financially secured, of course, for every year. Germany is expecting you to have a block account filled up with 8,640 euro. This please needs to be taken into consideration. If all those um, steps don't matter to you, also you need to think about that you need to pass an exam, the so-called Hammer exam in the end of the education. And yeah, this you only can attend three times. If you pass it, you get German approbation and you can start working as a German doctor. This is the theoretical part. Practically, working for three to four years um, on your language and your internship in Germany, of course, takes time. This, ta uh, this might also go wrong and you might fail. So your education uh, will be stuck. This will be looking bad in your CV. So an advice for each and everybody out there who is attending the university in Ukraine or Russia is please inform yourself um, from the very beginning on where and how you can learn the native or the language spoken in this country to attend the internship in this country because it's the easiest way not to go abroad again or to go back in your home country to attend another exam that needs to be passed and then enroll in the practical year. This of course is the second option that you have, but yeah, it's always better to do it in the study country. It looks better on the documents. Yeah, um, I would like to thank you uh, for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post them below this video. Other uh, videos might be following in future, but this is something that really um, was lying on my heart that I wanted to do a video about. See you soon, Konstantin Werner, Career Boost Germany.